springtime on the Great Plains. Mother Nature has been working hard all day, making an atmospheric soup. On this particular day, separate ingredients are brought together from all across the globe to create severe storms. If certain atmospheric ingredients are lacking, the soup comes out bland, and sunny skies are the result. The soup can also be spoiled if the portions are too large. Today, however, everything has come together nicely for Mother Nature. Her goal? A supercell thunderstorm. A supercell is unique in that it is very well organized. The storm is fed by a steady inflow of air near the surface, shown in green. The strong winds higher in the atmosphere, in orange, carry away rain and hail so they do not interrupt the air below. The red, rotating column of air, called the mesocyclone, provides the motion necessary to form tornadoes. The bottom of this storm may become so large that it easily covers an entire county. The storm's top, called the anvil, spreads out even wider and crosses into other states. This is a variety of storm Mother Nature will stir up today. Let's take a step back and look at her recipe's special ingredients. When liquid water evaporates into water vapor, it spreads into the air as moisture, just like steam rising from this pot. Meteorologists measure the air's humidity using the dew point. On this globe, a lighter color means the dew point is higher, so there is more moisture in the air. This map shows sea surface temperatures in late May. Here, lighter colors indicate warmer water. Surface winds cross the warm ocean water and carry moisture ashore. The Gulf of Mexico is gradually getting warmer at this time of the year. These winds bring humid air across the southeastern U.S. and the Great Plains. Next, let's examine instability. The best way to understand this is to think about a hot air balloon. A hot air balloon rises because the air inside is less dense than the air around it. The hotter the balloon's air, the faster it rises. This property is called instability. As the sun heats the earth, it provides the energy for bubbles of warm, moist air to rise high into the atmosphere. When there is high instability, the air rises quickly and forcefully. This provides storms with strong updrafts and a constant supply of moisture. This map shows instability across the world in late May. On this day, there is adequate instability in the Great Plains for severe storms to occur. So far, we've talked about moisture and instability. These are important for maintaining a strong storm after it forms. To get things started, however, the air needs a bump in the right direction. This is where the ingredient lift comes in. Lift is often the result of two separate air masses coming together. You may know these boundaries as fronts. Along cold fronts, cooler air forces existing warm air upward. A warm front appears where warmer air glides over cooler air. Another type of front is called a dry line. Here, air masses differ by their humidity. When a dry line forms in the Great Plains in spring and summer, it is often the initiation site for storms. Mountains and wide sloping plains are also a source of lift. When winds encounter this so-called upslope flow, 
this can be the right amount of oomph to get things going. This is often the case in the western Great Plains, where the terrain gradually slopes up to the base of the Rocky Mountains. Moisture, instability, and lift are three necessary ingredients for everyday thunderstorms. However, we need one more thing. To create powerful supercell storms that produce tornadoes, the final ingredient is shear. Recall our diagram of the supercell. Note how the green winds near the surface come into the storm at a right angle to the purple and orange winds. This difference in direction creates rolling, turbulent air between these two layers, known as shear. Imagine we are high in the air, looking straight down at the ground. These arrows represent the direction of winds close to the surface. And these arrows show the flow of winds higher up. The different speed and direction of these two layers creates an area of shear. Mmm, can you smell it? With a handful of moisture, an abundance of instability, a pinch of lift, and a hearty dose of shear, it looks like Mother Nature has really cooked up a nice storm today. <laughs>